What I've built here is a large format digital back camera. I wanted a large format camera for the for the background burr of the bokeh because it's just incredible. But it's just too expensive. I don't, I don't want to buy the film. I don't want to have to deal with that. No one's making digital backs for these because they're just too big. I'm not the first person to do it, but basically you're shooting the ground glass. So let's take a look. What we've got here is a Nikon D750 with a macro lens. Ikea garbage can with a hole drilled in the, in the back. All right. Large format, four by five camera. And this rig, which makes it all work. So now I could travel with this. Put it on there. Mount my IKEA trash can. Some black fabric to kind of seal up some of the lit some of the light leaks in there. Camera on the back of the tripod. Quick mount, turn the camera on, set it to live view video mode, and I'm gonna go ahead and film this. Okay, check it out. The hard part is that I don't know if it's in focus or not. So I'm gonna basically move in and move out, and you could see where it's in focus. I'm not real sure. Moving in, moving out, you just have to kind of guess. What's important, not so much the focus, because obviously this is experimental, but the blur. You can't see anything back there. The blur on this is fantastic. Not so much the focus, because I can't get it perfect with this setup. You get the idea. A major issue people have when shooting the ground glass is that there's about two, three or four stops of light fall off between the center of the ground glass and the edge. A serious vignetting problem. What I've done is I've put a Fresnel lens on the far side, so the light comes in, hits the Fresnel, and then hits the ground glass. It's a much brighter image on the ground glass. There you go, thanks for watching.